What is happening everybody, it's your boy. I'm just here to tell you today about the comparison between the fake K2 knob and a real K2 knob, as well as show you the other ones that I have. And uh, without further ado, here we go. Just wanted to give you guys a taste of my commute. This is the uh, section that I stop at all the time. You see some bald eagles flying around sometimes, which is pretty neat. And as you know, that's the, uh, the symbol of the U.S. in terms of uh, the animal that represents us. Check out this view. Bald eagles hang out around there, towards the back. Hey look, that's me. It's awesome. Just figured I, uh, I'd share that with you guys. Right now the lake is frozen because the temperatures are 30 degrees and lower. But absolutely beautiful. Here we have the fake K2 knob. If you notice, on the left is the original. The font is completely different fake is much larger on the top the logo on the original knob is much smaller than the fake right, the fake is also a much larger diameter the pattern here on the original is longer on the fake is shorter the fake is a wider uh, look and the original is a narrower look basically there's people going around selling fake K2 parts and they'll send you a picture of the original picture or the advertising picture and instead they'll send you this crap I mean it's not a bad shift knob let's be uh, let's be honest the weight's pretty decent but I personally would rather have the original part because it feels more comfortable in your hand these guys have done their research and I'm sure there's a reason why they made it the way they did but that is the comparison between the fake K2 knob and the real one. Right now I have the stock K2 knob and this super heavy energy knob that I got with my shore shifter after I purchased another Acuity shore shifter. I'm finally excited because my Rev9 Hypers 2 came in the mail. If you notice, I got this cool little green box. Let's take the little unboxing knife and uh, see what's good with the packaging here. So a lot of you are probably wondering, gee, like, you had BCBRs before. Why would you all of a sudden go to Rev9 Hyper Street 2? Well, I mean, life happens and sometimes you have to sell your parts and part out and then things get better and you end up in this situation. But here we have our parts. So these are for the rears, rear springs, rubber perches, adjustable. Here we have a little rest. Rear shocks look pretty good. Rev9, Hyper Street 2s. This looks like a uh, mono tube design, which is pretty cool. Dust boot, adjustable dampening. That's awesome. What's interesting about these is that they're actually adjustable, unlike the other guys that give you just a set sway bar end link. These are actually pretty uh, neat for the simple fact that they are adjustable. And uh, I like that actually, I like that a lot. It's kind of cool. And then here we have the coil over itself. I must say, for the price that these go for, the construction is actually not 
not bad at all. I mean, you can still tell that it's not like a premium premium. Actually, you know what? I take that back. This is actually pretty good build quality. You get a lot for your money here with these guys. And based on the specs and the way it's built, I could say that these are probably gonna ride just like my uh, old BCs. It's already preloaded from the factory. It's got my little slant to mount there. The uh, 13s, the 12 and 13 SIs are just like the R18s with the slanted uh, lower mount. It's not a straight one like the uh, 14 and 15s. I can't wait to throw these on. If it wasn't so damn cold right now up here, because right here, right now we're at like 23 degrees Fahrenheit, I would definitely slap these on right now just to see. But it is way too cold for that. So as soon as I get the chance, the time or the money, I am going to install these. And I cannot wait to review them and tell you guys how it goes. These so far look awesome. These are my Rev9 Hyper Street 2s, monotube design. I can't wait to install them. Almost forgot. Shout out to K Series Pros for all the nice gear. I just got my Stops Tech stainless steel lines, my Hawk pads, and my rotors. About to throw these guys on, and give you guys a little review. Uh, most people rock big brake kits and stuff like that. I um, am actually using a street setup. I'll actually let you guys know more about that in the near future. So, coming soon. So there you go guys, that's a quick unveiling of my parts. For more questions, like and subscribe, and I'll see you soon.